Hi guys, Popstitch here. So today we will be unboxing Yu-Gi-Oh! Funko Pops. So tara, sumulan na natin. These pops are my husband's pig and honestly I haven't seen any of the episodes of the anime series but I know that it also comes into collectible cards. So I just did a little bit of research about all of the characters of these pops that we are going to unbox for today and I will try my best uh, to do a decent review on these ones. Right, so let's start with the first one that we have here and it's Yugi Muto number 715. So there, have a closer look at the box. At the back and on the other side. Yep, so let's check this one out. Alright, so here you go. So just a short background of who this one is. So Yugi is the main protagonist of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series and holds the title King of Games. He was also the one who solved the ancient puzzle known as the Millennium Puzzle. So let's go through all of the details on this Funko Pop version of him and let's start there from the top. So as you can see, he's got that spiky hair with the three colors and he's the only character in the anime who's got the three hair colors. So there's the magenta at the back, black in the middle and his fringe are blonde. Then going down further on his body, I really like his suit here. It has lots of tiny details and the one there around his neck, that pendant, that's the millennium puzzle they call it. So overall, I really like this pop. I like his pose and the way he's holding his cards. So yeah, he looks really cool. So what do you guys think? Right, now let's move on to the next pop that we've got here. And it's Joey Wheeler, number 717. So there, have a closer look at the box. There at the back and on the other side. Yep, so let's check this one out. Right, so here you go. Have a closer look. So this Joey Wheeler is one of the main characters in Yu-Gi-Oh! He is Yugi's best friend who accompanied Yugi throughout his adventures. So he started out as an inexperienced duelist but later became one of the greatest duelists in the world. Right, so let's go through all of the details on this Funko Pop version of Joey and let's start there from the top. So as you can see, he's got a blonde hair and there's some hair sticking out there at the top as well. Then going down further on his body, there's not much detail in him as compared to uh, Yugi earlier, but this is how he looks like in the anime. He's wearing a plain blue top and pants and the white shirt underneath. And right there on his left hand, he's also holding a couple of cards. So yeah, I also like his pose. It looks like all of them is in a battle. Right, so there you go. Now let's move on to the next one that we've got here and it's Maximilian Pegasus, number 716. So there, have a closer look at the box, there at the back, and on the other side. Right, so let's check this one out. Alright, here you go. This character is also known as Pegasus J. Crawford in the Japanese version of the anime. He is the creator of the game Jewel Monsters and later became an ally of the protagonist. So let's go through all of the details on this Funko Pop version of him and let's start there from the top. So as you can see, he's got that purple hair, purple straight hair. Then going down on his body, he's wearing a red double-breasted blazer matching with his pants and with ruffles there around his cuff and around his neck. Then right there on his right hand, he's also holding a couple of cards and like what I've said earlier, they all look like they're in a battle. And the most interesting part for me on this one is his left eye. They call it the Millennium Eye. Right, so there you go. Now let's move on to the next one that we've got here and it's the Red Ice Bee Dragon, number 718. So there, have a closer look at the box, there at the back and on the other side. So let's check this one out. Oh, this one's quite heavy as compared to the first three pops that we've unboxed. So there, have a closer look. This is one of the characters on the card game. And in the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga and anime, the Red Ice Bee Dragon became one of the signature cards of Joey Wheeler after he won it from Rex Raptor in the Duelist Kingdom. And Joey used it and a few of its support cards throughout the series. So going back in this Funko Pop version of the Red Ice Bee Dragon, so as you can see, it has a metallic effect. Like the entire body, it's all metallic. So the paint job is really neat and it's greatly sculpted. So as you can see, there's lots of tiny details in it. 
Most of its parts are really spiky and he's got a pair of wings there at the back. And the most interesting part for me on this one is actually inside its mouth. It looks realistic and I also like the matte finish of its paint job. So overall, this one is a must have, especially if you're a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! And of course, because the line won't be complete without this one. And also, I believe there's a counterpart of this, which is called the Blue Eyes, a White Dragon. And that one comes in a pop tee, which is a bundle of a t-shirt and a regular sized pop. Right, so there you go. Now let's move on to the next one that we've got here and it's, have a guess, it's Yami Marik. There, number 886. So there, have a closer look at the box, at the back and on the other side. Right, so let's check this one out. Right, so here you go, have a closer look. So this Yami Marik is Marik Ishtar's second personality created by his own inner hatred and pain. He serves as the main antagonist of the Battle City Finals arc. So I can say this one looks very similar to how he looks like in the anime. His usual outfit consists of a long purple cape with a gold chain there at the front and black sleeveless tank top and beige pants. He also wears golden earrings, armbands, and bracelets. Then going back at the top, as you can see, his hair is spiked upwards and points in all directions, though he has a retained that same wing-like fringes of Marek's hair. Then right there on his face, the white thing there on his forehead, it's actually an eye, and they call it the Eye of Wiyat. Not really sure how you pronounce it, guys. Wijat, something like that. It's W-D-J-A-N-T. Anyway, that's how they call it, but I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, so please forgive me if I pronounce it wrong. Right, so overall, I can say this one is the most detailed one among all of the pops of this Yu-Gi-Oh! line. He's carrying a lot of accessories. Right there on his right hand, he's carrying the Millennium Rod. And on his left hand, he's also holding a couple of cards just like the others. And my most favorite part on this one is that thing around his left arm. They call it the Dual Disc. Right, so he looks really cool, doesn't he? So yeah, what are your thoughts about this one? Are you going to get as well? And I believe this one is already available through the Pop Culture website, but we've got this earlier because we went in store, like in the new Pop Culture store. Right, so there you go. Now let's move on to the next one that we've got here. And it's, have a guess, it's a six inch pop. Here you go. It's the Exodia, the forbidden one, number 755. So they have a closer look at the box, they at the back, and on the other side. Right, so obviously this one completes this line. Right, so let's check this one out. So this one has an insert, so I'll just show it to you guys here. Have a closer look. Right, so there you go. Oh, this one's really heavy right there have a closer look so just a short background about this one this is also one of the card characters and actually this exodia does not appear as a whole in a single card it is composed of five different cards before you can use it the forbidden one cards are the most iconic cards in the franchise being well known for their automatic win condition and yugi's use of them in the first episode of the anime therefore we are lucky to get this pop as a whole and we do not have to collect five different parts and just assemble it <laughs> anyway i'm just kidding i don't think it will be possible right so going back in this Funko Pop version as you can see it's greatly detailed and as per my research Exodia's backstory and pharaoh-like appearance uh, seem to be a reference to the famous uh, Egyptian legend of Osiris so yeah going back in this Funko Pop version of him the painting is flawless and his pose just look awesome there's an image of a snake sculpted there on the forehead. He's got chains on all of his limbs. So personally, I really like this one. Although I haven't seen any of the episodes of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. And I should say, this one is a must-have. Right, so there you go. Yeah, before I end this video, I just thought of showing you guys the other 6-inch pop that we have from this line. So we've got the obelisk here and the slifer. And actually, I already did an unboxing video on these two here. So I'm going to put the link on the description below if you want to see them.
And there you go guys, so which among all of those pops is your favorite? Just comment down below. And if you like our video for today, please hit the like button and please don't forget to share and subscribe. So that's all for today. Bye! Thanks for watching!